All right, we're gonna have a look at some of the functionality on how the tire pressure monitoring system works. So I know right now I've got a low tire. So when I turn this on, it's gonna come up. We're gonna start from scratch. Normally it's gonna tell driving, but I noticed right away I've got a warning. There it is, I've got low tire pressure in my front driver's side tire. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna hit the back button or the okay button to make it go away. And even though I know this tire is low, I don't see what the pressure is just yet. So we're gonna start driving so that we can have a look and see what the pressure is in this. Oh, there it is on that one, we're at 25. So we're gonna get going here. Obviously we've gotta go put some gas, uh, some air in the tire here. So we're gonna head back to the dealership to do this. You can do this at the gas station as well. It works the exact same way. All you gotta do is head down. We're gonna to get to see what the other pressure is in all four tires as we're going. And then once we get there, we're gonna put some air in the tire and show just how easy this is to work. If you've got a mid-level or top-end Rogue or Qashqai, this feature is the exact same. it's going to tell you when to stop putting air in the tire. It does that by beeping the horn. So even though you need to be at the right pressure, you really don't need to know what that pressure is. You don't need to know how to read the gauge on the air gauge as you're putting the air in or where to find the pressure on the tire itself. It's going to let us know. So now if I have a look there, I can see my front driver's side tire is at 25 for PSI, where all, four, all the other tires are at 34 and 35. The default setting is 33 on the vehicle. So as soon as we get there, we're gonna bump this up and put it back to where it needs to be. Okay, so we're gonna get out and have a look at this. We need to add some air to that tire. We're gonna put some air in and let the vehicle tell us when to stop. The beauty of this is, once we hit our low pressure limit, the horn on this Rogue is gonna beep once to tell us to stop. If we continue to put air in, we're gonna hit a high limit. We're gonna demonstrate both. That high limit is going to be three times, then we have to stop, otherwise we risk ruining our tire. Let's have a look. All right, so first thing that we got to do, obviously, is take the cap off the step here. From there, I'm going to start putting some air in the tire. I can hear the air going in. Now, once I get to the low limit, it should beep to tell me to stop. you'd have a little gauge on the end of your air compressor here to show you where you are. I don't have that for the air compressor that I'm using, so this is purely waiting to see. All right, so that's our first limit right there. We've hit the low limit on this. I'm gonna put some more air in so we can hit that upper limit. There it is right there. So now I know I have to stop putting air in the tire. This is gonna take me back to where I wanna be. So I'm gonna put the cap back on. We're gonna have a look inside to see what the pressure says. As we have a look now, we can see the pressure's back where it needs to be. We're at our high limit. So we don't wanna put any more air in. All the tires are back to good. That's how we work the tire pressure monitoring system. That's what you do if you need to put air in. And as you can see, I didn't have a gauge and I didn't need to. This takes all the guesswork out of this and makes it super simple.